please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. Please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. Check, 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 check. Lego. Lego that. Yeah, big up on yourself, you know, people. Man, they are. A busy long day as usual, and I want to big respect to all massive and crew. Bless you, all about the rich 99 FM. And you don't know, say, yours truly, Ragashan to Mr. Cherry Wash Belly, seeing the King of Mix Up originally. The original King of Mix Up. I saw the thing set or whatever. Even though a man, they don't know, we're busy differently and sitting and sitting and, you know, boy, you know, things kind of temper don't look a bit and thing, but we still have that little thing that don't, where we enjoy life and learn about life and talk about life and all these things or whatever. No, big up on yourself, people, big up all who be it. Big up all who be it for morning. That will include me. Right, all who be it for morning. And thing all who will a fresh. Big up all who be it with rag. Big up all who soap up good. When them did a beard and wash up, big up all who soap up more than one time. And one time he did soap up to that woman. I like one time I soap up this band and thing. Did a rush and um, well, enough time I be it. I one time I soap up, but still, you know, don't know the thing set. And well. You have some people out there, you know, no big and serious, you know, you have some people out there, no time them be it. I want to soap up one time, you know. Yeah, man. Yo, me the day with a woman, you know, she swap every time she be a chef, she swap up three times, you know. Prezi, you think I drop me, I mean? Eh? Me know that be, man, from Spanish town that she come from. Anytime she be a that girl swap up three times. I said, I'm big way up. I hear, you man, know? you know. You know, say, the first swap up, I would want, 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 like, like, like the first swap up, I just with like a regular swap in a prezi. Like, you know, like you that say, you know, like a regular white name there. And then the other swap up them now with body wash and them something there, you know. That was fear thing, you know. You understand? So you have some people. And then you have some other people out there, them swap up a minimum of two times. You have people when them are beard a two times and them swap up. Every time when them are beard and them, it's like it's like a mentality with Jamaican in you know, them. I like a pre-wash thing there. You know. Enough Jamaicans have a, like a pre-wash thing, you know. Like when them are wash clothes, Jamaicans have this thing. I say you have to rub out the clothes them first. You have to rub out the clothes them first. Like a lot of Jamaicans, them not just go wash things, so, you know. And oh, I want one over here. A who don't a who don't have Jamaica to? Who? Hey, Saje? Okay. Dirty man, Saje, you all right? Yeah, man, I know you're a god man, you know. You go church Sunday? You go church? You go church Sunday? Okay. And hold well, on, let me turn on this thing. I have to check in for this. You go church Sunday, Saje? Eh? At which church you go? Why church name? We no, what what when say to, well I talk it talk, make we hear you up here, make we hear you up here. Where church name where you go? What our president? No man, make him talking at the radio. I want him talking at the radio mic from Jamaica. Sajay, talking at the radio mic from Jamaica. Yeah. Well on, I give him one second the people. Sajay a god man, you know, man said church and all these things and thing and whatever. Sajay, well we wait him I go over to the microphone when he can talk from Jamaica. And then we hear what I want. You hear me? Yeah, we are here, you know, Saja. Which church you go, Papa? I go to St. Peter Club. From Walton Parkwood? Yes, sir. 
Jesus have mercy. You know, I say, when I look at me, go to school. I 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 go to school. Look a bit. St. Peter can have a primary. It's one of the top primary schools around. No, you know? it was a primary. It was like, probably like, I don't know, but that's something before primary. I'm telling you, one of the best primary schools around town now. Right, but them, them, have, them have one. Well, Saja, you know, say, a long time, I thought, don't <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well, Sajay, this is when 15 bus are run past this. You don't you know, know about 15 Joyce bus. You don't know about 15 Joyce bus. We're gonna, we're run past St. Peter Clever. You don't know about that, right? No, you don't know about that. No, I born ah. in the era of JUTC. Oh, JUT. Yeah, no, the, the, no, man. This are, this are from Joyce bus time and whatever. So, them did be a six school, Del Marine, right? Them not have one be a six school there. Um, the, there's a big school, but it's not by that name, though. Oh, you know, man, them a cars we go and be a six school over there and lick a bit. Auntie, because we didn't live couple blocks, yeah, them American talked about couple blocks away. We didn't live down from down from it, you know. I want it, I money this. I way I give me, so we I give me this side for no money. Oh, well, I know, Prezi look like me get bust. Don't move, Saji, don't move. Bomba, Prezi, me get bust, you know. But well, on. No man, this look I fear I want this. this no, cause I wanna look old, you know. I wanna look no that one and I look new, man. I talk to her about it. But anyway, yes, sir Jay, some years ago, St. Peter Clever, don't sorry? That's right name, St. Peter Clever, don't yeah. So well on now, oh St. Paul Basic School. Me used to go on St. Paul Basic School look a bit. I mean used to go St. Peter Clever something. Pan Walton Park Road, don't. Yeah, one top park road. Yeah, man, it's the near Julia. You don't know what Julian Drive do, don't you? Heard of it. Yeah, man, Julian Drive just the down from it, auntie. So it's a nice church. Yeah, it is. I they say you meet your wife. My wife? <laughs> oh, you don't have a wife. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, no. Why me think you didn't marry? You know, I guess it's the old image thing. <laughs> right, yeah, because you carry yourself in such a disciplined way and a man of God and all these things and whatever. So since you're not married, now like, look a woman, you have a girlfriend? At this current point, no. You don't have a girlfriend? No, not at this point. So you're not seeing a body in the church where you like, like any look a decent woman. Because when I want to pick up the strega, you know. I was such a when I want, because you can't manage a strega them. Don't go pick up no strega. Oh. So you know, see, I look a decent, you know, Bible reading woman in our church where you like. You know, I'm going to say something and you probably laugh. But you know, I'm afraid of church woman still. You freak. You know, so I'm not a laugh. I'm not a laugh. But just, I am a learning man. Why are you afraid of church woman? Just seeing my look experience, um, I think I would take my chances with somebody who's, who is not in the church than in the church itself. You, as a dedicated, committed church man, you're saying you'd rather date a woman from the secular world? Yeah. The word, as we say in Jamaica, you'd rather date a worldly man? <laughs> yes. No, no, but you still not tell me why, you know. You just like, I, you don't have to tell me your business or if you had a harrowing no, experience no, with it's, one. It's, if it's a woman backs it down with a Bible and say, Glory! <laughs> and then to a carrot in your ears or something. I don't know, something crazy must have happened. But I'm just saying, like, just give me like, like a reason, like, you know, I don't want to date church woman because what? I don't want to date church woman because I find them a little bit too, they act a little bit too righteous, if I understand that. Term. Oh, and okay. In this, in this world, nobody righteous, right? And sometimes they're doing things. Nobody they, no righteous? Not well, I know the context for you. Yeah. Nobody you know is perfect. Context. Yeah, yeah nobody is perfect. perfect. And that is all you meant. Okay, go on. And the one, there's a couple of experiences I've had where I was dating this church girl and Raga, I know what she do from Monday to Saturday. I want to go into the church on Sunday morning at the holiest person you can find. Wow. That is that duality. That is that dual personality thing that a lot of Jamaicans have, you know, that I, sometimes I try to explain it to people. And here's the scary thing about it. It's almost like them have two or three people inside, but they don't know it, you know. Well, 
I think some I think some of them know it, but um when it comes to being on church on a Sunday or a Saturday, it's like okay. It's like everybody just put on the mask and just enter into church. Like, exactly. And it's like normal to do that. And at that point, you're there's nothing more righteous than them. You're right. And 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 very condemning of others too. And rebuking and you know of others and and and, and stuff like that. And then before that. But, but you, you realize that it's kind of like an endemic hypocrisy. Yeah, no, I noticed. And that's one of the reasons why I say, okay, I want to date a woman outside the church because when I'm dating a woman outside of the church, there, there are more Christians than the women that are in the church. And I find that it's, I'm trying to find the balance right there. So I, so I'm just rather just stay up far from them, date a woman that is outside the church. And then most time, most of them choose to, coming to the church afterwards so i'm good with that but you know what i'm hearing from you and what some people are listening because unfortunately when some people hear oh a church woman or a woman outside of the church unfortunately some people automatically assume oh a woman on outside of the church is going to be indecent and she's going to lack values and that is not what you're saying what i hear you saying is that there are people outside of the church who are very decent, who have um, impeccable values and um, wonderful, nice people. And by extension, with respect to what you're saying, are more likely to be authentic and, and true and transparent and, 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 and be honest in who they are and um, you know, less likely to be judgmental in our church. That is what I'm hearing from you. Am I correct? That is true. Okay, okay. That, that that's an interesting scholarship you just um shared with us you know because yeah no it, it's interesting because you know sometimes you hear people say they don't want to and, and it can be a specific interaction for, for example you like people who say oh i can only date a jamaican we can only deal with a jamaican but the same person will say I hey, hey, don't want to live where Jamaica can live, you know. Mm -mm, I don't want to live where Jamaica can live. So what I'm saying is, yeah, people have these different versions of, of things, with, you know, different configuration where they say they'd rather not affiliate with their own, depending on what the group is. And sometimes people, you know, they're a little bit challenged in understanding, like, how could you say that? How could you be a committed part of the group, but you don't want you know, to be aligned with anybody from the group. And, you know, and some people have a little bit of difficulty reconciling that. But I understand what you're saying. I totally understand what you're saying. But you have to remember, America, you see, what I just said, you know, it's, it's common, but not many persons are willing to come up and see it. So it's good oh. for both men and women in the church. So most persons are not willing to come up and see it because they don't want to give the church, quote unquote, a bad light. But it happens. Oh, so there are a lot more people out there who are in the church who are like, no, I don't want to nobody from the church. And in fact, are in successful relationships with, with their partners who are not in the church, right? Is that what you're saying? No, man, that's true. 100% true. Okay, 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 okay. But okay. people are afraid to talk about it. And I will not be that part of society who say, okay, I see the problem, but don't want to talk about it. It's there. And the more we turn a blind eye to it, the more the problem is still there. I just can't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So the truth of the matter is, yeah, I would date somebody outside the church. And even dating somebody outside the church, it's so funny, Raga, that these people outside the church have more core values and principle than the persons in the church. And that's what I'm saying. I, I kind of find it strange, but it is what it is. But that would mean that you're saying that no people in our church, them are hypocrite and them evil and them have some terrible qualities about them that you would prefer not to um get involved with. That sounds like what you are saying. Yeah, not that everybody bad enough, but you're saying that a lot of the people in the church, it, it is it is such a, a dismal, the pickings are so dismal that, you know, you have said, boy, no, I don't want nobody from the church. You know, so there are some terrible people in the church, correct? You do, and this is from my personal experience. Right, right. right and right. the thing about it is, I've I've gone to a lot of church. I've been to seven days this and that. And uh -huh. my experience with people from the church, it's so funny that I get more help and support from persons who are not inside the church and the person that's inside the church. And 
when when it comes to certain things like spirituality you, you get more help from people outside than the persons within the church wow and i've and i've noticed where pe people even have had to position the church we know i've seen where somebody left a church based on the fact they didn't get a position and I've lived, I've lived to see that more and more than on one occasion. Based on the fact that they never get a position, a certain position where they want in at the church, and because they don't get it, them left. And clearly, if that person left because of that, well, we shouldn't say clearly because we don't know the the, the, the surrounding um, elements to whatever it was. But but one one is inclined to think that if you ever leave a church because you never get a particular position in at the church, then you were, you know, you were. Well, I was about to say you're not a church for the wrong reason, but you can't say wrong if they if they determine what is the right reason for them go to church. And, <laughs> and the reason upon out, well, well, perhaps they, they, they were there for reasons that um you know that most people would think shouldn't be the reason why they were there. At least we could put it that way then, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. And but I'm I have to tell you, you know, like um I don't know. I don't know. You, you know, this whole thing with them say you can be spiritual without God or you can have a relationship with God without going to church. And um, you hear people say things like um, you can be in touch with your spirituality and be in touch with, you know, some sort of um, acknowledgement and reverence to God without being affiliated with a denomination. You know, and, um, you know, some people say, listen, religion is a totally different thing from um, acknowledging God and being, you know, and, and worshiping God or whatever the case. So you have always had those types of um, debates and things like that. And um, I am one of those. I had reached a point in life where I grew up hearing denominations just in Jamaica. So I don't know about other places, but in Jamaica, just which is primarily christian as you know protestant christian well we have catholics there too. but um i just grew up hearing different christian denomination of course different those are born out the other one you know them born seventh day adventists them born them 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 born um jovia witness then the the, the european one them them they not like the church of god one them then the one i don't like who get in a spirit then who get in a spirit not like that dead church over there, so and then who over there, so who then believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We don't believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Eh? <laughs> that's a real debate, you know? <laughs> like that, that, yeah. that part of, that is a real debate. And I find it funny. I've always said it to many, many different persons. Even there was this Christian girl I was talking to, that she was seven day. I asked her the one question I'm saying, and I see him one God we are served. Thank What's you. Difference? But Apparently, there is a difference, and and up until now, I'm still trying to find the difference. No, right. no, there are philosophical differences between them. But what I'm saying, those differences are such that for, for a lot of them, it's just um intolerable. <laughs> like them just hear the other one, the man thing, and and then I I reach a point where I was like, well, and then if each one of them thinks that them right, if one right, you know, it means everybody else must wrong, don't it? But here's the thing, this is the one thing I, li I like to drop on a lot of persons yeah. when we're talking about religion and church. Every single church should break, break off from the Catholic Church, so aren't we one? Like, I've, I'd love to drop that based on the fact that... No, no, well, be careful. You, you say you're talking about Christian churches. Yeah, Christian churches. I'm okay. not talking about... I'm right. talking about Christian churches. Right, right. I, and, I, and you're talking about Jamaica, right? Yeah, I'm talking about that. Yeah, because so, uh, it's not every single Christian church broke off from the Catholic. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Right, I yeah, know Christian that. churches before the Catholic Church. You know? I, I know, I know. Yeah, in Ethiopia mm -hmm. and those, but we're not getting into that. But but you're talking about Jamaica, you're quite right. Because the, the, I would like to remind people the reason why the you have all these the dominant Presbyterian, Moravian, Episcopalian, Baptist, Church of God, the reason why all those are called Protestant churches. Is because go back to this woman here, Lizzie, who una go mourn for, for 12 days, like una papi show. One <laughs> of Lizzie generation in the past, him did one go do go do go one day that woman different from him divorced. wife. He wanted yeah. to get divorced. And he wanted he to, to get divorced. I want to go, go grind one next woman. And the Catholic Church said, No, you can't do that. And what the general do? 
Because he was king. Forget that which king. A general say, yo, I'm going to form my own religion then, since you know what I mean, do what I want to do. So he formed the religion in protest against the Catholic Church. In protest. And that word protest, the first two syllables, they add on a third syllable, and that is what they call that church. Protestant. So it's protestant. And as so the Protestant church then came into being, and then they too splintered. And they created all kinds of denomination over the side there. So that is what Sajay is referring to when he's saying that a lot of these Christian church churches, they are, you know, an outgrowth of um, the Catholic Church. In particular, because Mr. Amanda did want the married one, the one, the divorce, and one, one woman want a different woman to jump up in her belly and whatever. And the man just create him own a, him own a church. And after him create him own a church, people create for them own a church from this. And look, they know, look how much I want to do a fight to a, a fight and a eat one another over a creation where a man go make because him did want another woman. Why, why? We can't bother. He, but anyway, so what you, what you say you tell him now, Sajay? You know, one of my best scenes when, when we're having this debate, right? Yeah. I was like, I've always said, how do conflicts start? Yeah. And I've always said, is when my evil is clashing with your good. When, 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 what, what, what? When my evil is clashing with your good. When my evil is clashing with your good. Well, I, well, it's an interesting way you, you put it. In. Right? Because I don't see, the, I don't see the sense of why Christians in Jamaica overall, the mm. different denominations have to hate each other. By the end of the day, one God, I was supposed to can just get along. But just because every every church has their own different opinion and mm -hmm. teaching and different things, but by the end of the day, seven different brothers, seven different men, but by the end of the day, we're supposed to have one goal, serving one God. So but my, no, but my thing is, even if you, even everything different, because I remember now you're talking to an anthropologist, right? So I, I have a certain slant there, or perhaps you could even say a bias there. Or whatever because i mean from my orientation it's about interpretation right right so i work from the premise that nobody knows reality nobody knows reality what we know today as reality was totally different from what was the consensus 200 years ago don't we know that that's true which follows that 200 years into the future they might look back when we say but well i don't some damn backward idiot here whatever nobody knows reality no none none not even bro god no past, nobody don't know reality, but everybody has an interpretation of reality. That's and so some of those interpretations are packaged in religions and denominations. But what I'm saying is, my thing is, why can't we say, well, you know, that person has a different interpretation and it worked for them. But you know what? That is still my sister, that is still my brother. And I wish them all the best. I mean, I go eat them because for them interpretation different from mine. Why? Why we can't have that type of solidarity and That's appreciate the... differences, even spiritual difference? But you see, the problem with religion, with that though, the thing with re... it different. If, if 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 me go one store and buy one shirt, and you go buy a next shirt, you know, um, Saje, I may say, well, I don't want me like. I say, well. You like you you buy the flower bag shirt, me buy the dashiki shirt, right? I mean, the dashiki me like, and you said the flower bag shirt you like. I was say, all right, you know what? Go and love your flower bag shirt. Go and love your dashiki shirt. We're good. The problem with religion, though, why it is different from everything, is what it assumes and what is at the core of it, which is about God. And you can have diversity and appreciate diversity with shirt. It's going to be hard for people to appreciate diversity with the interpretation of God. Worse when you have so many of these people even I say a God attack to them. So if God attack to you, right? If you believe say God attack to you, for example, and you are church of God, and you know say God attack to you, then if God attack to you, then you must be right, you know, or you have to be wrong. That's how we tell you, that's how conflict starts. Yeah, 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 you must evil. be right. <laughs> so them over this so must be wrong because if you say the Lord spoke to me and said so and so, and them over this are doing something different, then them must be wrong. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem when it comes with religion and God and all them. Something like that. There's no room for appreciating differences and diversity because to do so, they what they're doing is to invalidate their own one. 
Yeah, because nobody wants to be wrong. Nobody wants to be wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nobody wants to be wrong. <laughs> and that's where it comes from. Yeah. When my evil clashes with your good. Interesting. In, and because of how oh, Jamaica is and the, the, the religion, it's a very touchy, very touchy topic. Denomination in this country. A very touchy topic. And but by the end of the day, for me, yes, we have several different teachings in the different church, but by the end of the day, we're supposed to have one goal serving one God because me and I can read the Bible, I will have a different interpretation, as I said, because not everybody can understand the Bible the way I do and you do. So somebody else may understand it much, much different. But the, pro- the problem is that we don't learn to how to compromise and cross-reference what your, inter- your interpretation exactly, is. Exactly, exactly. But nobody wants to do that. No, no, because, no, no, it's easier, more comfortable to just accept wholesale while you're here and you just believe in that, and you not feel rock your brain and I think about the differences, whatever. It's easier to say, we good, and the whole of them over there are wicked. It, it, that, that is easier. And, you know, and, and it gets even more complex with somebody like me. I was raised in the church. You know, I was raised in the church, in revival churches and in the Baptist church, East Queen Street Baptist Church, and in revival churches. So I was raised in a, I was indoctrinated in a, in a Christian theology. And then now, me reach a point in a life where, may I show you, you know, Jamaica complex. When Rastafari explained certain things to me, about me, will make me feel good and empowered and powerful and comfortable with who I am in my skin, that the church of me grew up in, I don't even subscribe to that. And I know about that to teach me that. So me did reach a point where me, me and a Rasta, you know, I was never Rasta and won't become a Rasta. But just I say, me even reach a point where the group where the Christian church <laughs> diametrically is opposed to traditionally in a Jamaica, you know, Rasta and Christianity, they always at it. <laughs> and thing, me end up, I, 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 I find value from Rasta when Rasta tell me about my history and my heritage and thing and whatever. Um, a Rasta make me, a Rasta make me, <laughs> A Rasta make me feel better about myself, you know, when people used to call me Duncan was all at school, you know, I mean, I mean, they'd have stabbed them up and thing. A Rasta make me care laugh half of them, you know. No, I do understand them because you said that the Rasta fair and um, culture, uh, yeah. culture, yeah, it has a certain level of consciousness. And exactly. I do like that because I've, I've, I've been around a lot of Rastas and I understand. All right, you're right. You're a straight question. Taki God truth. All of them church in a Jamaica. Do they teach that consciousness that we're yet No, they don't. Thank you. They don't. Thank because you. with the Rastafarian faith, the teacher how to <coughs> meditate and all of that. No, no, and how to be proud of yourself, yes. how to be proud of who you are, yeah. and, and, and how to and how to recognize that some things about yourself that you have thought. But then what, but, but, Sajay, you grew up in a different time. Sajay, when we are grew up, you know, and people are you're black and ugly like, you're black like Tara and ugly like. By your nose and ray, ray. Why she good looking in she have straight nose? I'm looking at her ear, pretty ear that approximates white Caucasian here. And what you know, me I say whatever. So you have these things that where you love that have a European white ethos, and you have these things where you hate, which have a black African ethos, very, very strong in Jamaica. Entrench me grew up with them something there. And when people weaponize some of them things upon me, because mine was big and broad, you know, so them used to give it to me a calabar all the you know, Them used to give it to me, you know. <laughs> Listen to me, man. I'm used to call me Duncan was one, man. I'm stab them up on all them some of them, you know. You never hear that story, the Sajay? No, uh <laughs> no man, <laughs> well, man, I used to stab them up. Yo, man, well, I Sajay, the thing deep. Them send me go, them send me go psychiatrist are you with feet. <laughs> Yeah, man, I love to tell people the story. The man, the, the first psychiatrist, them said me go, are you um Dr. Knight in the name? Something like Dr. Knight. And thing or whatever. And Ray, Ray, I'm come back and I'm a tea, come a warrior, you know, and I'm a tease me again. I stab them up again. And then they send me go to Agri and the Bellevue. As we tell them, send me in a Saje. Bellevue a good place, man. <laughs> and, and let me tell you something. Who never hear it? People who are listening a long time, they hear this all the while, by the way. That's why I mean big up. Yo, if anybody, if me up here now and somebody tell me, say, you know, say some people are, are moved to agri irons down the like them one, though, Dr. Agri Iron, something. Me war them, you know, me, I te- me spend money for protect agri irons, you know. You hear me, I tell you, Sajay? I hear you. <laughs> when them send me to the, 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 
the renowned psychiatrist Agri Irons, a, 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 a Bellevue Hospital. I remember when we grew up, I be, you know, now you say, you know, mentally disabled, but may I keep it real. When we grew up in you know, Bellevue, I be a mad people over there. Say, if you go over there, say, you're mad, sick, you're gone. So when them send me, go to say, no, like, I'm like, so I'm mad for two. Me really mad for two. Me serious enough. Then you know what I say when me go to Agri Irons, I me mean, tell Agri Irons and things. So they might tease me and call me. Agri Irons said to me, son, there is nothing wrong with your nose. You have a beautiful nose. You have the nose of your ancestors. There's nothing wrong with your skin color, right? You just get mad because they're foolish and they're stupid. I the first somebody tell me some of them, them some of them, you know? I would I would understand because um I remember growing up um yeah I, I struggled in the Catholic Church yeah I struggled growing up based on the fact that everybody that, that was around me at the time over parents no rich over parents don't look a bit well off this and that or them approach certain things it was awkward and it was weird to the point where it got to a point where I didn't even love myself I didn't even love my name and it ended up happening that. As I said, the rest, of, as I said, the rest of Iron Fate is very beautiful, mm -hmm, conscious, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it was a rest of man who lived near to me and just talked to me and say, "Yo, I appreciate who you are. You are a black man, and black mm -hmm. men are kings, mm -hmm. and all of that." And that changed my whole life. Wow! And then, as when I got older, now I realize realize there is also a different section in Catholic that actually teach you how to appreciate yourself, but it's not. Oh, what, oh, there is, there is, there, there is a is. section in Catholicism that um. There is, but it's the funniest thing about it. You have to reach a certain level. I'm going to say, that makes sense. You have to reach a what? You have to reach a certain level. What do you mean? I don't understand. You have to be in the Catholic Church devoted for much years. and then you Before access, what? You get access to certain teachers. I'm going to say, yo, that no make no sense No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to tell you. You have these people at Jamaica, you know. People like me, oh. I don't like Raga Shanti with all them degree, the way them now do no uplifting and whatever. And them same people who have said that, you know, they have been reifying some of the most awful institutional structures that for years and years and years have just been just just just, just some mash up Jamaican people and whatever. No, but they, they not teach culture in the schools. They not teach you for proud of your heritage and all them something. They, but you quick, 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 I tell people, boy, you forgot more for one woman for 12 days, longer than you ever mourn for anybody who you care about. The woman who was head of an, like, this is no secret. When I make up none of this, the woman who refused to apologize, just even apologize for where. Fear people them do and with fear family do and with the wealth where she get out of all of them. So just, just apologize to where your ginger and them do. Your direct line is your mother, Elizabeth the first started. Right? I, no, no. Your Queen Elizabeth the first. She started. And you're Queen Elizabeth the second. And you can't even apologize. You refuse. 70 years of your reign and you refuse. Why me must come on for she? Lizzie never care about me. Not yet, Lizzie. Me not yet, her. But Lizzie never care for me. I mean, see the damage where where Lizzie thing got cars, right? And yeah, my, I've, yeah, you know, yeah, because them did a tease me and all them something about your black like and whatever and all them thing there, whatever. Have my poor mama tell me about when you wash your face, straighten your nose, straighten your nose here, straight. <laughs> 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 it's Lizzie fault. It's Lizzie fault. And Lizzie and our ginger is that they carry ancestors that come to Jamaica and put them madness in our head and make we grow up and uh, like one another and thing and make the youth, them out there who are kill people who are say, I make them and say, Oh, my done dead already, you know. And I think it's by accident, people. Me done dead already. My life has no value. Me no love myself. Me done dead already. So mm -hmm. if somebody done dead already, we have to start them from kill people too. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember, you know, when you have unpopular opinion on anything at all, mm -hmm. people jump at you. Even when you're speaking the truth, but Indeed. once it's unpopular, yeah, everybody jump at you and say, how dare you, how could you? Yeah, and yeah, they might come jump on me and oh, me did want to jump on me, never jump on me. More <laughs> more <than> mine, so <laughs> anyway, Sajay, this yeah, all right. You see, when me like oh, me, oh, when I tell somebody call and I say, wait, 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 I'm say, listen, you don't understand what I do. What I do, it's it's stream of consciousness. It, it you just flow. You get in a certain space, 
and it has an element of unpredictability that makes it exciting. You never know what's going to happen on my show, you know. You never know what's going to happen. This was a plan. We just come in and, uh, you know, pretty. I said, we sat, I'm going to say, I would understand the and whatever, and Ray, Ray, Ray. I'm going to start fasting on your business. And you accommodated me. And look at the conversation we just had, Sajay. Look at the conversation we just had. I appreciate, appreciate it. I appreciate Anytime. it. All right? Yo, My man. brother, big up yourself. Good day. All right? All right. That is Sajay down there, right? And he's um, the technical person down there for tonight. In Jamaica. And, of course, I'm in New York in the Irish Jam Studios. Sajay is in Jamaica in the Bridge 99 FM2. And we had a nice little discussion there. A nice little, a nice little meds. Are them, some of the people are them meds them in love, you know. I love them something there, you know. And people, Blacker Ellis, the great irony of everything to write it. Blacker Ellis, who is now a devout Christian, used to subscribe to Rasta philosophy. Blacker was a Rasta, you know. Blacker wanted to see him. So when I was going to the Jamaica National School of Drama, we did have one, one place back at School of Drama, one Lignum Vitae Tree where it was like the meds corner right when lignum vitae tree and i just would smoke weed and and reason you know doc big up yourself and everybody will know what we are talking about that thing and around this so black attack to some even even, even, even he didn't talk to me he might talk to somebody and around this so the first me ever hear somebody I say some things where make sense to me. But at that time, what Blacker was talking about, he was saying, Rasta teach this, and his Rasta show this, and his Rasta so and so. So I first me I hear somebody I talk about the roots of black people, our ancestors, you know, racism, how them change the game, get in our head, make we eat to self and all them something there. And, and Blacker is a great communicator, right? So Blacker knows how to communicate stuff in a way that is accessible even to the lay person. So me, at that point, it was just immediately accessible to me and I understood what he was saying and I was able to apply it to my life, you know, my physical self, my cerebral self and who I was and it just made sense. It was a moment of epiphany for me. It was just like this transformational moment for me, I remember he wasn't even talking to me, you know. The one I would just run there, smoke weed, and him I talk to somebody. It's I'm just so on there and I listen and whatever. And from there on, that took me on a journey of self-discovery, of correcting the false narratives that I grew up with, which necessary, um, you know, which necessitated some form of filtering because my mother loved me and things, so there was nothing my mother teach me that I still hold to this day. But even from my mother who loved me, there were things that my mother just didn't know and, un and just didn't understand and things where she, you know, based on our post-colonial reality, 400 years of slavery, not only physical slavery, but even more damaging, as Michael Manley had said, is just this, um, you know, Michael Manley said, you know, slavery was abolished in 1830 whatever but him said boy the, the mental slavery we never get rid of that one did i wanted it still did and it's true right and it come down through the years and you know you know you have this um collective self-hatred that we have there you know in jamaica very much so where we hate the indigenous parts of us and think i will celebrate the foreign parts of us and all these things in order you know to obtain validity and acceptance from others and things that is still to this day playing out. You know, you're, you're asking us to mourn for Lizzie for 12 days. And yet you have never asked us in a systematic way in the curriculum in the schools or whatever, you know, and thing to mourn for our ancestors or to mourn for those who made the ultimate sacrifice for us, you know, to be alive here and to be enjoying even the smallest and simplest of things them dead for that for we are whatever but we have no organized way of doing that except for what we do on national heroes day which is not institutionalized it's just a one-off thing and and um but in terms of what obtains in the general it's very different from what paul bogle stood for from what marcus garvey stood for and thing like that which we all know 
and things. So, you know, so I give thanks to Blacka same way because Blacka himself went through a conversion and he's over into Christianity now. We all have to live our lives and what works for you works for you. What works for me works for me. So I'm very thankful for what Blacka did that day without even knowing that he was doing it for me. We just a small queen and a sheer knowledge and thing and me get my little blessing out of it. And just that just took me upon a journey and whatever till me end up did um, my undergraduate thesis at Vassar College on Rastafari and learned so much more about Rastafari. When I when I time I do my thesis, my ball, you know, when I learn about some things from Liberia and whatever, and thing, I mean, I said, why me never learn them things at Jamaica? But I know about Anne Boleyn and which king this and that grind, who, who cut off over head and all them sitting there, and whatever. I mean, everything, all this thing about the British monarchy and all them something about, I never know the things them where did for matter to me, for make me feel good about myself, for make me love myself, for make me understand my history and my heritage and understand that no care who you are, you can't change your roots. You, know, you can't change your branches and your leaves, but you can't change your roots and thing. And then me have to go upon that journey, then I say, but a black make me start a journey there and thing. And that journey has me at a point now where me now I'm on a 12 days for Lizzie. Me now eat Lizzie and thing, Lizzie do her thing and whatever. I mean, I like what she do, but I am on a 12 days for Lizzie. Lizzie, all right. Anyway, we're going to go well and so forward. It's the Bridge 99 FM. How you dealing with? Gonna leave. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Yo, the can't and the kill up. Yo, Prince William. Prince William, one of the just one of the many properties we're inheriting. You know. These are the prince, you know. We're not even talking about King Charles, you know. One of the many properties we we we're inheriting a prison value more than one billion dollar in a prison. Me never said million, you know. Me said billion. Just one of the property we're inheriting, you know. And you know where them, you know where that wealth they come from, don't. Anyway. People make we shift gears a little bit. Hear that one, you know. So you have this brother. You have this brother and him wife up here. Seen? Let's just say, let's just say me in a law enforcement. We won't say which one, but let's just say me in a law enforcement. All right. So enough time and the type of work we him do. Um. Uh, let me fix this up. The type of work we do, let's just say, the type of work we do in a law enforcement, it's unpredictable. Leave it right there, so it's unpredictable. So it is quite normal for, it's almost like he's on call, right? You know, when Dr. Depan call and him, something like that. So him and his wife, they're used to him having Fidros leave and go do them, the secret thing when they him do, right? You know, I mean, I know what it is, but we know, you know, whatever. You want to say certain things for people up here, going to know how to But anyway, so they, them used to that. So very often, when they will buy tickets for God and thing like that or whatever, something will come up and him can go. And she said, all right, she will go with somebody, right? All right, so most of the time when that happened, she go with her church sister talking about church. You know, Saji just said that. She, uh, she have a, 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 she have a Lucas Parry, a church who she go with. So she most of the time she go with her church sister. Or she go with one of her co-workers. Well, most of the time she go with her church sister who happened to be female. Um, or some of the time she go with her co-worker who, um, who is also female. Anyway. When R&B artists are coming, when R&B artists were singing Love It Of His Songs and all them, something there, him a forward, and them have tickets to go. At the last minute, theme thing, him usual thing, come up, and um, him can't go or whatever. So she said, all right, I don't know it going on. You, you know, no, nah, right, so you don't know. Maybe, apparently, at the time, she said, you know, me will take care of that, you know, the usual and whatever. Me will go with who me I go with. And, and him say, all right, and thing, and thing. Sometime after that, 
Uh, one of him bridging said to him, say, Yo, dog, yo, you think good with it? Yeah, yeah, you know, call it the wife name, like him that said, you know, like him that say, um, let me pick somebody off of the Irish um, um, Yeah, like him that say, yo, you're yeah, sure real good. And him say, yeah, 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 why, why, why? And him say, oh, no good. He must say, yeah, man, okay, all right. But what you ask? And him say, no, nah, if you're good, no, nah, even. Yo, yeah, man, you done ask already, you know, say, I've got to put it out there. Because I like the bridge in the back up now, you know. So he must say, dog, here we are going. You want to ask if I never reason. So just tell me. Why, if we're no good still, me no want to go, you know, me no want to go tell you nothing because me, you know, like the man I say, yo, me not a news carrier or whatever, you know, just the man I say, talk, why you talk? And I said, no, you don't know what say. Me have a little woman upon the side, you know. I said, the, 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 the brother, the, the, the husband, or the, the wife of me, the husband and wife, the brother, he must say, yeah, so. He said, yo, so me and my woman upon the side, you know, so we go so and so, the R and B show. So he must say, yeah. I must see your lady over there. And thing, you know, that's where I have to draw up on it. So the husband said, well, yeah, yeah, I know she go. I know she go. You know, I know she go because I did forget about the, the brother we might talk to, you know, them in you know, the CM law enforcement thing. So I said, but I did forget about you know right there and whatever. So I said, oh, so you know. And he said, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, you know, regular when I can go, she just go with you, you know, she just go with her sister. You know. So I said, sister. What you mean? See, no, I said, but if you know, no, but it's a man to the dead. Wait, I went. So the a man? What you mean, a man? I said, no, it's a man to the dead. I win. No, nah, man, and a man she did it with man. It's a woman, man, because a woman she tell me she she got. So I must say, oh, for real. You know, I say, it's a man, me see how we do. You sure? Yeah, man, I see her with a man, man, and she stand up in front time, man. And when the thing sweet and, and uh, she kind of dance back on him, man, thing. So the man said, well, yeah, tell me. So, you sure? Man said, yeah, man. He said, you sure is a man? You, so how the man look? And he described a man. You know, a man tall and whatever. And he must, he must try to pick up a man. But him now, nah, typical man now, the husband, him go so zoom. Go right to it. it, it. Him wife. Oh, so you did go the the you did go in call in here. You did go so answer so sure. So she I say, yeah. What you mean if we go? But tell us, me I go. And you go with man. She said, yeah. Is that man my girl? Or what? I must say, wait, yeah, tell me, say you go with man. And she said, yeah. But me tell us, me I go. But all you tell me, say I go with that woman. And she said, no, me never tell her that, you know. And I said, yeah, you tell me, say I go with that woman. And she said, no, me never tell her, say I go with that woman. So I'm starting to get mad and she said, yeah, what I go? So, you know, so the husband named Prezi. She said, Prezi, yeah, what I go? I think you used to me, I go with Cheryl or Angela. And two, you know, so I always go with Cheryl and Angela. You just assume, say, it's a woman me are going. But I don't want a woman me are going. And then, like, should I call her name now? And should I say, I don't master Chris me going. And when I say, who is dub master Chris? And she said, I'm a friend from so and 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 and she show him some picture where she take with him at the event and them something and thing or whatever. And the man I said, when I take picture, she said, yeah, I'm not hide it. See, this, see my phone, I take it and whatever. See the picture of them, they want me to take a place and whatever. And the man said, are you there? Are you sure me all of them something? And she said, but what, is it? what do you think? So me and the man do something? She said, I'm just my friend. So I said, but why you never tell me, say, yeah, go with a man? And she said, 
No, but the way our, our thing set up, when you can't go somewhere, me just go with somebody, it was never a problem. Me never know, say, me didn't have to tell you, say, if it's not a woman, me are going, but it's a man, me didn't have to tell you, but me never know that and whatever, and rare, rare. And them argue, 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 argue. But the argument come down to now. He basically has said, after the argument, go on and go on and go on and go on. The argument, you know, and it's so sort and much sort. It's like him has said, him not thinks that she and the man do nothing. But him thinks that she violate. If she go with a man, I never tell him. Hear my take on it. Me think him right. Me think him right. If the understanding was that anytime she a go to them something there, she always a go with Cheryl or she a go with Angela if I'm done a Philly, right? If the understanding is that, say that, this or this, whatever. If she ever switch it now, it is understandable our husband our woman man who used to him woman have got somewhere with her girlfriend them. If she ever switch and go with a man, it is understandable that that man there say, no, 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 should I tell me? Simple, should, should I tell him? Fear reasoning is friend or friend, man or woman, it no matter. Me always, when you can go, me go with a friend. So fear thing is like, me not born you, me not do nothing, me just go with a friend. So a fear argument that, you know, like, yo, you're being unreasonable. you whatever. is a friend. Me not nah do nothing. He's a friend. Me have man friend and me have woman friend. And what? Me don't agree with her. Me don't agree with her. Only can disagree with me, you know. Me just tell you, you know. Only can disagree with me. Because, again, you know, the husband reach a point where he must say, um... Him no think she do nothing. Be a all the thing mats out and the argument and he must say, oh, him not really if he can the thing say, you know, like as some Jim Screech thing or whatever, but he must say, no, she never eat. She just say, yeah, well, well, see picture them there. And he must see the picture of them and whatever and ray, ray, ray and this and that or whatever, co-worker and thing or whatever, but me agree with him. And me not busy when nobody wants it. I mean, it was a summer going to have a problem with this and whatever. But you see, it was like a group thing or whatever. Fine. But if you, if you are my woman, me and your man, you are my wife, me and your husband, and you are going R and B concert. And you always you always go out with your friend them, your female friend them. But now. For the first time, you are going to R&B concert with a man. You have to tell me. Press me wrong or me right? Yeah. You have to tell me. So I don't think the husband is being unreasonable. I don't think the husband is being right. She should have tell her husband, say. And the way a woman usually do these things, they will say something like this, like, you know, me have one male friend, you know. Him, you know, him, whatever I'm named, Paul, Prezi, whatever I'm named, man. You mind if I go with him? Even when a woman knows that she can still go by herself, she, she give her a gentleman that respect me. Now, me not lying, you know. Me would I tell her, I said, No, you know, so me not, I'm glad you asked me still, but I'm not too comfortable with you and him alone. I go on R&B card. Me I tell my woman that, I'm not business. I tell her that. Right, but I'd rather you not do that, you know, and you know. Would I say that to her? Me, me no know. Just the same. Me not gonna tell my woman and my I say, oh, maybe I go out and bridge them, but you know what? Me I got this R and B concert with a friend. Fine piece of woman who work with me work with a friend. Nah. I'm not going to tell my woman that. I'm not going to tell my wife that. Right? If it's not a position there. I don't even have, don't even have bring them vibe there to her. But even if something like so, I go. But I say, you know, I have a sister in a way. 
and thing and you know when uh, you know yeah, i was all of us as sister i said yo man i don't fear i think you know she's straight lesbian you know whatever you know i can't make her meet her and thing you know but since we have the extra ticket you know she said she would have rule but you know me just want you know and even if you want to chat to her you can't chat to her whatever you know, want, you know if i something like that but say something me i tell you the meaning i go to my woman go to but me want go me alone with one woman I want R and B love it of his show. No, I mean I do that. So I just want to know something. I balance up a thing. So I don't think she should I do that. So if you have argument right now, but I always go with a friend and it's not a problem. You know, no problem if I go with a friend, I always go with a friend. It just had this one time it happened to be a male friend. Eh, 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 eh. She should have said something. Sorry, Roger. Eh. Why, is, why is so like afraid of a while ago? Why, why you say what? Why is one like afraid of a lot? Afraid of what? <laughs> if I go into an Arbin concert with a woman and, and I tell you, you say you're not a woman. Why wouldn't tell her? You know, listen to me, you know. You never, you, you, you're wrong a while ago, you know. No, me say, oh, okay, me understand, you miss Anna. What I'm saying is, I wouldn't even approach my woman with that to say, I want to go to an R&B show with a woman by myself. And I'm glad you asked because some people may misunderstand what I say. You understand what I say? I say, I wouldn't even do that, much less to go and do it with a woman. You, you, you understand what I say? I don't think, I don't think you get it. You know. All right, what I say is, out of respect to my woman or uh, my wife, in you know, whatever position I'm in, whether I'm a woman or my wife or whatever, you understand? Me, nothing. It right for me even I go to her and I say me want go to R and B show with one woman out of respect to she. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so let me ask you this. And I've and I've something that I've seen personally, right? right, right. A married man. Quick, I've got to take some call. Yeah. A married man. Yeah. Kissing the next one. Yeah. What about? What, a what? married man kissing the next one in public in front time wife. No, we, we don't even go this. We, we don't. My question is that one, but um. Because you know, it depends on what the context of the kiss, but in general, that is not a good idea either. In general, you know, you talk about troops on cheek, right? No, I talk about proper, proper kiss, and the wife was fine with it. No, well, you don't know what I'm going to say. There are all kinds of modern arrangements with them things. The mind sharp him, I warm up that woman, the fiddy wife. Yeah, you know, a deeper thing, them thing there. You don't know about them, you don't know about them something that you not work with them things, the right, you know, unless you're quietly. It's a little sneaky little, you know, if you're, if you're sneaky with some freakiness on the sly. But my impression of you, you're not like that, but I could be wrong. But um, that's a different something. That's a different something. No, but I'm glad you asked the clarification because when I said I wouldn't even tell my wife or my woman that, what I meant was that wouldn't even be a proposal that I would make to my wife to ask her. I think that's right. Just as old me I say, me not take any woman for go to her husband or a man for ask him, even for ask him, say, yo, you're cool if I go with my man friend alone to an R and B show. Me I say me wouldn't even do that. Me not coming. I want to be one sided. You follow me? But even if you go do it, give your partner that respect there. They say, yo, is a man. Me I go go with that time. Yeah, you know, me should, 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 should I tell her husband? You understand what me I say? Oh, Sarge must say, hang on. So I'm going to take some call, I know. 876-676-4996. 876-676-4996. 876-676-4996. From Jamaica, of course. 876-676-4996. And um, if you have call from the U... Well, I don't know about the US number. in a call people from Monday and Wednesday. Until November 6th, President leave for the last hour of the show. I guess, I guess we can still take call, you know. Yeah, we can still take U.S. call. 888 That's the number if you're calling from the U.S. 888-546-8742. If you are called from Jamaica, 876-676-4996. Sajay, let me know when the call come in here. 
4996 call him boy whatever you want call him boy wherever you want to go no people what me I say is and and again you know you don't have to agree with me with this I'm just letting you all know this is I'm uh, I, I'm not being evangelical about this is this is no hard and fast rule me just I say me and a woman there right out right out right yeah, because me are man, she are my woman, or whatever. Me na go to her. Me not think it right for me I go to her and ask her. I tell her, but you know, some of go on R and be lovey dovey concert with one woman, me and her alone. Like, me just I say in general, me no, me no, me not think say that. And again, that's just my opinion, you know. This is what I matter respect to her, whatever. But I'm saying. Even if I'm going to do it, if she knows I always I go certain ends them with my bread drink them and my, I mean I drink them and thing and whatever and wait, wait, wait. Um if it's a go switch and my always I go with my bread drink them, but no me I go with a one woman, she fin no. She fin no. So be me no say make you know, you know, say. I think the way we go over so and so, a co worker juggle with me here. Some of us are making no up front because out of respect, you know. That's why I know me and I know nothing. Nah, re, re, re. You know, if it dead is so. So she should have said something to her husband. <coughs> well, if you disagree, you disagree. If you don't agree, you don't agree. I'm mean, here, what I go on? 876 676 Keisha, highly blessed. That woman knows exactly what she's doing. She's just using the fact that her husband trusts her. So her argument is, what's the difference? <laughs> well, let me see if this hour. Hello? Hey, Raga. Yeah, greetings. Where are you? I have to call up you. Know. Hey, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Well, go on. Say, yo, hey. you look a reason for something. See? Yeah. So, me live in my house with my, me live in my house with my woman, right? What yeah. Three, what you and I have here now, see? Yeah. So, two months ago, she had complained, say, we don't go have sex three times. Two months ago, she complained, say, since yeah. over the two months, we don't yeah. only have sex three times. So, no, July. In July, we don't have sex, we don't have sex three times. Okay, all right. Only have sex three times in uh, July. Okay, all right. And then last month now, we have buy a different house, so we have to move busy. Me, I, a chuck, I work with her right now. Oh, okay. And she working at the time, but so long story short, she she have a look at miscarriage. She have a miscarriage, we find out. So you know, she have go through a little thing. So me not my lady, so no, me don't. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. That is significant. What do you mean she had a miscarriage in July or August or what? No, in August. In August, we find out that she have a miscarriage. Oh, you found out in August she had a miscarriage, meaning we both, yeah, okay. we, we both found out, meaning that so you know, she, she did had a she so when she had a miscarriage, was it the type of miscarriage where she didn't know she was pregnant before? She was suspecting it. She was she, you know, we've been trying, actually. We've been trying. Okay, that is that is significant enough. But go on, go on. Mm -hmm. So what I have to know is, yeah, after, you know, she was, you know, going through the, you know, whatever situation and, you know, deal with that. So, you know, sex can't go on them time, so I'm going to leave her alone. Uh, you know, me, you know, not get you wrong, you know, me do my cheating days, me do my jealous days, I don't know, man, they're on different meds on different levels. Right, right, and, right. And, you know, my thing function everything, and I still love my woman. Right, right, right. But anyway, so I haven't been, you know, me not, me not really touch her, I... Uh, Go to her sexually. You know, draft, yeah, right. Okay, right, okay. right. 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 So, son, Monday now, my young man better sleep and she come in and say, oh, we have to do it today before you go work or else. I'm saying, else what? Yeah. I else me go use me, me tie. Right. So I'm say, no, I know she have my tie. Right. You know, we have used it before. Mm -hmm. but we to use the toy together. We to use the toy together. We to use the toy together. Okay, yes. okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I say, really? So she said, yes, because you know, I look for me, you know, I touch me, I mean, you know where I go on. So I'm going to use my time. If you're going to do it today. So I'm 
So right then, I'm just say, yo, to me, you know, that a cheating, you know. What? I got a big argument, you know. Big, big argument right now, you know. Well, uh, you that tell her, I said, that is cheating you know. if she go use her toy? Yes. Yes. Tell me if I'm wrong, I'm right. No, before I tell you if you're wrong or you're right, um, she is telling you that she wants to sleep with you. And, um, you know, she's turned on and she want look at sex. And she said to you, if we don't do it now, why well, am I going to use my toy? And then you think that yeah, is cheap. Yeah, coming out of the room. I was in the room lying down. Right. I was in the room, right? Right, lying right, down. right. Because right. I work night. I go to work at 8 o'clock at night. Right, right. She's coming out of the room about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I say, we have to do it now. We have to do it tonight. Okay. Today. Right. Or else. I'm saying, I mean, or else what? She said, or else I'm going to use my toy. She said, really? She said, yes, because, you know, I look for me. You know, I touch me, I mean, never use my toy. And you said that is a form of so cheating. I said, yo, I, I said, that's cheating. No, no, don't get it wrong. Again, we use toy together. I know she, has, as a matter of fact, I bought the toy. Um, okay? All right, hold on. Let me just so share a couple of things right. to you, yeah? All right. Yeah. I, I, right. Okay, first of all, you were, it appears that you were triggered by, she gave you an ultimatum, right? As a man, mm. I can't tell you. As a Jamaican man, I can't tell you. Don't give me an no ultimatum. Do, in, in no matter what, do not, if you, if you want me, if you, if you want me, forget by my wrong side, or don't do it. You, 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 come, come lay down. If I'm not wrong, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, all right? But from me, no, I'm not wrong, I'm not doing nothing. Don't give me no ultimate. Jamaican, men, a lot of men, we don't do well with ultimate. It's a man thing. Don't deal with me, them. Don't, don't yeah. tell me, say, do this or else. Do this or else. Well, you know what I mean? Sir? Exactly. So it appears right. to me right. that that type of language triggered you. Like, there, in other words, there is something yes. wrong about what she was doing to you, you know, saying to you, and you felt the need to respond. However, your response is a, it's going to be a, a little bit challenging for, for you know, I, I can't tell you right now. I can, I can be so bold to say that I'm speaking for people right now. And there are a lot of people who are a little bit difficult to understand because you may have, First, you may have used the wrong word when you say cheating. Because remember, cheating by definition, you know, is something that must be done in secret and it must be a form of betrayal. Now, it can't, clearly, it, what she was proposing is nothing done in secret. And also, it's not a betrayal because she's telling you what she's going to do. So it can't be cheating. And third... What she's referring to was with a dildo or a vibrator. So it's not another man or so or a woman or whatever. So I just want to be clear to you that I, I think you may have chosen, you, you, you wanted to make a point, given that she gave you an ultimatum, but you, by saying that that is cheating, you, you got her defensive because she, she right there, you, know, you put her in a position where like, wait, what? We are, we are accuse me of whatever this and that because yes. it cannot be cheating, right? Saying, All right. Exactly what she said. All right. Then no. that, so you have that part. The, the other part, though, is it sounds to me that you don't, you don't mean, you don't mean it. You, you know what should go through and your work and, and it sound like you have opposing schedules and things like that going on that, you yeah. know, in a counseling exactly. relationship or whatever, we'd, we'd iron out those things. But, um, that being said, though, what is clear, though, is that your lady was appealing to you for some intimacy, you know, and it's you she had come to. She wants some sexual relief, you know. She wants, you know, she wants some servicing. And in wanting that servicing, right. she was somewhat frustrated. Whatever was going on, she was frustrated. And in her frustration, she ended up going to word it that we had there in her ultimatum. Right, and that was her way of saying, Me need some no, just come give me some no. All right, and um, right, um, 
you, you, so given that she was making that appeal and perhaps you know word it a little bit you know strong in terms of the ultimatum you, you and then you go say oh a cheater at that farmer cheating or whatever basically dismissing what she's going to do and in her mind dismissing the need that she had at that moment that she wanted you know you to service her she's she's coming to you she's not i don't know she'll come to you i said come give it to me um you think you could have responded um differently well here, here's what i'm saying though all right yeah i understand that and you're right my thing is though she said she was going to use the dildo when i gone to work to get her relief well i wouldn't know uh, so i wouldn't know she was going to do it she only told me that's what, like you said the ultimatum she was giving me that's the only reason why she no no but if she so tell you said she's, she's going to use it when you're gone to no hold on coming. hold on but if she tell us she's going to use it when you're gone to work then you know she's going to she, she may use it she might not even I use it no she was planning on using it without telling me um Hello? okay you, oh so i see what you're saying you're saying that oh i think i see what you're saying now you're saying that when she come out with that she was admitting something that she was always doing then she said she was going to use it and I, I, I wouldn't know so she's telling me if i don't give her sex now she's going to use it use it when we're gone i oh. wouldn't know i would have she got i would have gone to work and should have been home doing it and I think all I right then. no we're getting somewhere now because i see what you're saying you're saying that basically had you just gone or whatever she would have used a dildo without telling you that she was going to yes. use a dildo and you're saying that would have been yeah, a form of cheating okay so let me ask you something exactly now. because she would have been doing it in mm. secret and not letting you know so let exactly. me exactly all right so let me ask you a pointed question though um mm. you you if your if, if your woman use a dildo and don't tell her she's using a dildo that is cheating i think she's cheating yes i remember i remember putting her next week what if she use her finger mm. if she, what if she use her finger i'll tell you but she use her finger and masturbate would you consider that cheating masturbate Aye, that's a tricky one no hmm probably not no but is the dildo but so the, so the problem then is the deal though is the deal though then the deal though are the problem yes. then <laughs> yes no you mind if me keep me gonna talk to you, you know like your brother don't you you mind if me do that yeah well, talk me to you. talk to you like your eyes yeah. you know here we are going big man yeah right i know you know you make a deal the pressure you know it's like you feel a way like so the deal. <laughs> oh, no. no, me I keep it real with you. I did deal do the problem, you know. I did deal do the problem in general. You don't, yeah, I, you don't want, you feel like so this deal do, who do have a eye, do have a mouth, do have a brain, do, it's not a sentient being. It's just an object. It's a tool used to facilitate a certain state of pleasure for the lady. And think I want, it's just an object. And you eat the deal do, you don't like it. deal do. You don't want. The deal done. The deal done. Off a, your deal done. Off a gun here, your woman. Tune tune if you not dead. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anytime the deal do I use you for dead. No, the deal done. Off a gun. No, look up. Yes, the deal yes. done. <laughs> yo, yo. What big and serious, my general? No, big and serious, though. Right? Are you? Are you? Are you? A rug of your bridge in the dog. You know, feel say. Yeah. All right, so we have the larger problem, you know, where she wants some intimacy from you, you know, and she now nah, get it, right? So something going on there. We just want to keep be blunt with that with you. But um, until you, we, we resolve that, you know, things say, uh, how about um, entertaining, you know, the notion that, hey, you know what? It's just an object. And um, I should be thankful that it's not a man because um she's just using this object to help her reach that state and things so oh can i be honest with you like i said i'm a truck driver and i'm a truck driver. right so right I, two times she facetimed me mm -hmm. using the dildo and that's fine i like that I, I i enjoy that right right but if she was gonna do it and don't let me know she do it that's where my problem is i'm not gonna lie to you 
I know, but what I'm so, asking you now, you know, what I'm asking you now, is it mm. possible now that you can, you know, put yourself in a state where, you know what? If my lady uses a dildo, if she masturbate by us, if she masturbate when I'm not there, whether she uses a dildo or not, I'm not going to have a problem with it. And you know what? I don't even need to know that. If she wants to tell me, she tell me. If I ask her, we have a conversation about it. It's cool. But um, one, I don't have a need to know I have a problem with it. And two, you know what? I should also be thankful that she has that form of self-reliance where she can, you know, in her sexual heat or whatever, she can pleasure Funny herself enough. and, and become... Enough. No, hold on, hold on. Or can you, can you, can right. you reach that point? Um, honestly, I don't know. Cause funny enough, that's what she was saying. She was saying at least he's a he's a dildo. He's not a man. I, I know I'm not looking at no other man. I'm using you know he's a dildo. Blah blah blah. Cause right. it's a big argument, you know. It's a big big argument between me and her. Cause I think again over the di head, over using the dildo and I'm making no big yes. big argument. Over using the dildo, big big argument. Right? Wow! Yes. Wow! 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 Yes. You, you see, you see, were we were we in a counseling situation, I would have more time to whatever. But we see we're in radio, me have a kind of just you know, kind of yeah. whatever. So I'm gonna tell you straight now. So me think if a lower with the dildo, yeah, me I tell you that lower with the dildo, you're a chucker, right? I mean, I don't know if you're one of them chucker that would depend on the road after days sometime and them something that you know. No, I go home every day. I, you I go just, home every I day. just do one turn around and go home. I'll one turn around, home. okay. I, I so you go home every day or whatever. Okay, all right. Then so all right, yes, then I'm I, home every I, morning. No, no, I'm, I'm a all right. Then, then let me tell you this. All right. Your your wife wants your, your woman wants some more intimacy and thing, and perhaps if she gets some more intimacy, um, she would have you know less need to want to use the dildo. And um, you, you, uh, earlier on, you, you said that, okay. well, nothing wrong with you. You're good and, you know, no problem. I get it up or anything. That, that is what I got from you. So, and but because of the right. miscarriage, you just felt like, you know, you shouldn't be pressing her for sex. Well, given that um, she wants sex and thing and whatever, and she probably wonder why you're not pressing her whatever, because, yeah, the miscarriage gone, but we still can't do it. You depend on the next level where you're like, yo, she had a miscarriage, that's a big deal. Man, I got pressure off the sex. So perhaps there was a, a bit of a disconnect there. So now that um that uh, matter is um, resolved, you think you can like you know give her a little extra attention in terms of the intimacy part, the sex part, yes, you think absolutely. You can, right. Yes. And I think if you do that, she would she would have less need to use the deal though. Right, and I'm okay with that, yeah. Right, 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 right. But at the same time, you know, um, I, I'm going to still persist in um, asking you to um, entertain um, the possibility of, um, you know, not being comfortable and cool with um, your lady. Don't, don't even look at it as a deal. Just, just, just look at it and say, my lady will pleasure herself. She not go out there go look the man, she not look the man. If if her Isla rider, she got pleasure herself. And when she pleasure herself, she may use her finger and she may use a dildo. And I'm cool with that. So I was wrong to accuse her of cheating. So I should so that's what you're saying. No, no, I I, I, I wouldn't use the, word. the argument is right now between me and her now. All right. If I to be blunt and thing and and and, and yes. I'm gonna be honest, you, you chose the wrong word. It was a cheating. It it one hundred percent was okay. a cheating. So in that in that sense, okay. I'm going to be frank with you. Yeah, you were wrong to use the word cheating. You know, okay. and you know okay. because for right. her, what are you talking about? I'm telling you about this. Or or it's a dildo. It's not a man cheating. You know, for her, it's like cheating would be with a man. It's like a dildo, and you you know, and if, yeah. I, if I use a dildo, well, you know me, I become me, and you use a dildo and whatever. So like you know you. You, you, you're accusing me of something that for her, you know, it's rough for her you know, because you're accusing her of a cardinal yeah. sin in a relationship, cheating, you know, you know, that is the biggest deal, right. you know, in whatever. And and, and for yeah. her, it's like, but we don't do nothing. So um, I, I don't know, you know, I, I would suggest that you, you give That's her... That's her whole attitude. That was exactly her whole attitude, yes. Yeah, I would suggest that you give her like a sincere apology, not only like an, like a, well, I'm a sorry, I, just say, so you know, some reason with somebody about it and thing, and me have a different meds about it and understanding. And I mean, and true, you go say, you know, any of me not do it, you know, you're gonna do so and so. So I think me get a little bit defensive, this and feel like, yeah, seminar, 
You know, I'm not doing me for do so. Yeah, but do something different and thing. I'm gonna use the wrong yeah, word. Exactly, right. Ah, you know the right, way. right. So I think if you That's phrase right. it that way, the answer them end up going use the wrong word and go accuse you of something that you're not doing. However, you phrase it, you have to make it clear to her that you use the wrong word and she is not in any way guilty of what that word say. You have to make that clear. Yeah. And you sound like you can't do that, man. You sound like you know how to do that. Yeah? Yeah, man. Uh, you're you going to do that? You're going to do that? You're going to apologize to her? Yeah, man. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah, man. absolutely. As soon as I'm on it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Apologize to her because I okay. think she deserves it. And I'm sure most people will agree with what I'm saying because she was she's not, based on what you presented here, she's not cheating on you and she wasn't planning to cheat on you. And that is an explosive trigger word. Once people hear that word, they you know, it you know it changes everything. You know, so yeah, cause that's what she was saying. We've been together for two and a half years, and I want to look for another man. Blah blah blah. Right. I can't believe you think I'm cheating because of the deal of yeah. You're right. That's exactly right. Word. Right. Okay. Right. She she's not cheating on you, and it was a cheating. What what she's referring to, I understand your concern that you said. Wait, so you don't use this thing and I make me know what them. That is a different matter, but it's not cheating. So you have to tell her, say, yo. Okay. There was no evidence that you ever cheated on me. And what you said has nothing to do with cheating. I picked the wrong word and I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it again. All right. You have to, it has to be sincere here. Yeah? All right. All right. And respect, you know, for reach out and, and more laments about it and more, you know. Because we men don't do these things as as, as, as much as we should, you know. And um, yeah, man. No, man. I want to commend you for that, you know. So yeah. big up yourself, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Much respect, man. All right, cool. All right, cool. Yeah. And boy, that is that you know that is an you know that is an interesting med right this uh, you know it's uh, there's so many things there that we could unpack, you know. But well, we could take our next caller, 876-676-4996 from Jamaica, 876-676-4996 from Jamaica. Good night. Hello. Well, Raga. Greetings. Yeah, yeah, my greetings, brother. You think, me think that man is a little bit selfish, you know? Explain. Because him should have respect, him should have respect him, woman, because she come to him and tell him, say, she wants some attention. Don't care how, how short it was, him should have given some pleasure before him. She has to tell him that. You understand? Right. So she she are, she are tell me him she could have she could have said unto him, you know, and just sign a man to take care of the business, you know. Right, but right. She has show him love and respect all the way. Say she need her attention, then should have honor her request and should make it up a reach that far then. Ah. So must accuse her of cheating then, that's totally wrong. Um I um agree with you with the, the last part. Um, yeah. while you know, as you heard, I told him, No, yeah, you did wrong, you used the wrong word. Um, I, I, you, what I want you to appreciate though uh -huh. is that you see, that's something that was she gonna say, <laughs> If you don't do it right, you know, I'm gonna do so on to the ultimatum, something there. It, it's an insecurity. I'm a mark, you know, I, as a man, me can't tell you, say, as a Jamaican man. Yeah. It took me a while. Like I had to consciously train myself to get beyond, you know, them type of fr that type of fragility where some look of foolishness bother you. You understand? So I mean I got judged no man and whatever, right? But you True know indeed. that True we indeed. as men, there are some little things where we're just insecure about and we but, you know we're eggshell about and all them something there. And, and no far we would not like no woman have a tone like say yeah chat to man like man a boy you know you know you know you, you see no, but well on, just... well on, well on, well on, well on. but but do you understand where it may be that tone and that and and then again you talk about sexuality you talk about sex you know so yeah. she attack to her man about sex and she basically dismiss him she say yo and then other something you get dismissed do you understand yeah. where that kind of triggered him to kind of snap out and then go feel away yeah. about it because I, I, in that sense, I don't think it's selfishness. I just think it's a form of insecurity we make him last. Yeah, yeah, in my work complex, yeah, yeah, in my work complex. Yeah, so right. that's when she say, I, I do that, I'm going to find a way to right, right. attention. Yeah, you know? So with that being said, no love and respect, man. Well, I'm going to listen to your show, yeah? All right, my respect, sir, my respect. Yes, my brother.
To all of the man them out there now, you want to get pan a level when your woman said that to you now. Yeah, I'll just joke it out with her. You know, you just joke it and say, yo, any you know going with something right, you know, and thing or whatever, you know, I'm going to masturbate to the deal door. And you say, for real? You know, say, me, you need to have a conversation with that deal. Bring the deal door right, you know. We need to have a three person talk right, you know, and the deal door input right, you know. I'm actually looking like, wait, what do you mean? Me say we need to have like a look of power right you now. Me need to talk to that deal do. Am I wearing my clothes? The deal do I wear my clothes? The deal do I wear my clothes? I'm there. You want the deal do I go out? Don't tell me say the deal do I drive me car. Yeah, yeah, you know start to joke it up before you know it. Yeah, say you know say you on the media tambo. And before you know it, yeah, I'll send up something in there and all them thing there, whatever. I saw no be deal with them sitting in the man, right? Who know if we make some little thing, some little fool fool thing. When woman I got to frustration, you know, hey, let me tell you something. I have, me have a, a, an imperfection, right? It is not necessarily an insecurity. It's a, it's a, it's a thing where if you say something, me I go by what you say, right? So if you say something, me I say, but it's you just say so and so. Me just tell you how far to me up. Men, up till today, dear, me, Ragashanti, who understand these things above average. I struggle with that. You know why? Sometimes when woman say something, I that they mean. But women are notorious. When them get emotional and whatever, them say certain things. And you cannot interpret it literally. You have to be able to speak the language of emotions with women. You have to be able to speak and understand the language of feelings with women. Sometimes women say some things and be as far as them say you have to kind of translate it in your mind and say, I wish you feel yes, sir. Because any of you pay attention to what them say literally, very often you're going to misunderstand them when they were really a one. Man and man who oh, in the game long time understand that something. Here. Rest of you young going to listen to me. Man, all man out there listen to me. And I'm not stereotyping women. I'm saying there are a lot of women out there. Sometimes when them get frustrated about something or whatever, some things fly out of their mouth. I am telling you that I struggle with it. T -t -t Till this day, I struggle with it. Why? I have a background where, as an academic, you write with precision. <laughs> you know, I am trained... You know, when you are, when you are grew up in this thing, and my professors, my advisors, and my colleagues were critiquing my work, they're like, "You're not clear here. You're ambiguous here. This is ambivalent. What are you saying here? We're not sure what you're saying here. Be clear. Oh, that is what you're saying. Then say it. That is not clear in what you wrote or what you said in the speech. That is the background I come from. That is the background I function in up till this day. So I am from a background where you have to speak with logic and you have to speak with precision. Which redounds to speak with clarity so that what you say and what you mean. That not really work with women in general enough time, particularly when women get emotional. You cannot come with that something there. Right? Sometimes women get emotional and think and hard in the them and think or whatever. Hey! Sometimes I'm in this tech woman and them just start, start fling down pattern. <laughs> hey, everything about them and thing or whatever, and them just frustrated and all them something there, you know. Yeah. And as a man, you have to understand that, say, she has fling down the pattern. You go to her and you say, so, what happened, you know? Um, what about Thursday? We still have gone down. I don't know why you're about no Thursday right now, you know. I don't know why you're about no Thursday right now. I don't want to hear about no Thursday for my mind right now. I don't we, we are worried about Thursday for. We are worried about Thursday. Today I choose and you are worried about Thursday. Go on, go to some of them. My girl, we are talking to me so far. We are. 
I said, I don't want to hear about no Thursday. Where you come out of about Thursday for? But this year, this man, I know this year, this year, you know. Something else are going with. Me. I don't want to hear nothing from you right now. And it's good for me, some man, or whatever. Because I be a fool, this is going with on Thursday anyway. So I don't know where you, you know. You have a kind of can't decipher. I'm not mean, exclusive to them, you know, because I'm not a woman supposed to talk to you any, any. Oh, because I'm not join that either. Because you have some woman out there who me love him because it's only him put up with all of my foolishness. Anytime I hear a woman say that, whatever. Anytime you hear a woman say that, we don't go away from you and say, we don't foolish this, whatever. And thing, huh? Yeah? Because, oh, him put up with it, so that means I can't continue it. We don't join that either. But I just say, Women very often speak an emotional language where what is coming out of their mouth, the literal words, is not what they're feeling. And um, as a man, you have to develop that capacity to, um, to, to, to be able to translate when a woman has said some odd things and whatever, if I say what she really has feel is so and so, and to be able to relate to her in the feeling domain and not with what literally came out of her mouth. And just before we take a break, a secret. Men, if you're able to do that and do it well, in general, women will love you for it. And you will set yourself apart from other men out there. And then we just get... When, you never hear a woman saying, no, I like him because I can't talk to him. You see that talk to something there? If you break that down, you don't have no idea how important that is to women. Communication. But I'm just saying to you that sometimes women communicate with words and sometimes they communicate with feelings. A woman love a man who understand her feelings and know how to relate to her feelings. And when she loved a man that would understand it, and a man that she want to dash it out and fling it up and do anything for him and whatever. And when a man a drive here up on the road and I'm Chris Benz and whatever, she look upon that and thing and whatever. Oh, him, I come with the money, him can't even understand me like my man right now and thing and whatever. Yeah! Trust me, Panda one, the master I got to tell you. Well, I will have break. We'll soon forward. This is Zion Stewart, and you're listening to my dad, the awesome Raga Shanti, on Bridge 99 FM. Yo, Saji, I want, like, me, I hear some distortion, and my Prezi, I fix something, and let me see, Prezi, all right, Prezi, I fix something, Prezi, I log in, and I fix it. 876-676-4996, 876-676-4, people, just want to remind you, and say, the time when I am on, on a Tuesday, Thursday, upon Tuesday night, Carlene is on, okay? Carlene, they are, you know, I don't know Carlene flavor without apology and things. She body say, Carlene make your bad, so. Dance all queen, Carlene make your bad, so. Big up yourself, good, you regarate and love you, see you, do mad thing. And do remember, so the fix is on on Thursday and thing, all right? A long time to fix them, I do them thing, you know, everything is everything, right? Right, yes, upon the bridge, 99 FM, I don't know, so that's at 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And thing in a night, all right? And I and I meet there on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Carlene is on Tuesday. And the fix is on on a Thursday. See? Man thing. 8 7 6 6 7 6 4 9 9 6 to the 4 9 we go. Good night. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Well, on the, let me see if Prezi fix or something. All right. Go on, talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I, I am... <laughs> But personally, for, for me, I, I do not believe that, well, if the man is coming home every evening, yes, why would there be a need for a dildo? Why? Why do there be a need for, for a dildo? Even though he said that it, um, it's only three times in, um, in July, he said, he have sexual relations with her. Right, right, right. I, I don't know if I tell him Ted, but you know, I would have really encourage him to really try to see if he can improve in that department. No, but but uh, no, no. I mean, and it's a reasonable question. I mean, if the man I come home every night, why you even need to use a dildo? All yes. right, okay. But let me just say to you, as I'm somebody who is um somewhat versed and um you know the particulars associated with this type of thing like 
I, I, I want to submit to you. There could be a woolly of reasons why. Why? Woolly. 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 She could have a stronger libido than he does. This is just biology, you know. Um, it could it could be a question of their schedule, <laughs> you know. Remember, same same go work I, at night, I, I, you know. I can't, I can't see this, this schedule. No, I, no, I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, him go work at night time, you know. Well, you know, do in the day then. Yeah, but that is simpler said than done. Remember, she working at the day. Oh, okay. No, I'm just saying, all right, suppose I tell you it's not uncommon mm. that um, people who depend on the hustle and, and I work hard and some people have two jobs and whatever that, them literally cannot find time to have sex. You you, you don't believe that? Well, it, it, it is possible. It is possible. So I'm saying there could be a scheduling thing. There could be, you know, there, there, there's, a, there's a possibility of um, there's several different possibilities. I'm not saying I know, you know, I'm just saying it's a it's a very valid question you raise, you know, given that they see each other every day. Yeah. Why the necessity for the deal though? But um, but remember now, you know, there may be some miscommunication there because remember I'm saying nothing wrong with him and all them things that. There was something yeah. going in, on in his mind, for example, regarding the miscarriage. Where I think like perhaps it would be a little bit insensitive of him to be focusing on sex when psychologically she may not have there, given that she, you know, the child, they've been trying to have a child. You know, there could be a little thing there. As to what led to the them not having sex, for them only having sex three times in the month of um, July, again, yeah. there could be all kinds of reasons, you know. Well, Listen, you know, I, I uh, hold on, hold on. Suppose I tell you, said some people can just reach a point where nothing wrong with them and thing, but them just reach a point where them just get comfortable with one another, where sex is not even, you know, where sex is not any, where sex not really a big deal for them and thing. And then you now she come out and say it or whatever. But you know, you have people who, you have couples who are happy, 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 happy together, you know, and all months pass and them not have sex, you know. I, I perceive, I perceive that she is still a, a fairly young man, uh, and I want to assume that the lady is a young woman also. Yeah, I, yeah, I was they, going to ask him about them age difference now. Yeah, age and see what I go on this. Yes, yes, because you know, I, you know, the fact remains that if if they are quite young, and uh, you know, you know, I mean, how long would that relationship be? That you know. They are kind of tired of each other somewhat. That they're not. I perceive that she she has she really have a high sex appetite. So, so the question is no. Um, I guess he would have to make some adjustments in in his schedule, if possible, so to spend some more nights with her because really have a fact. You know, he will he will have to try and see how he can improve in that department. And you know, because, say you know, and 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 again, you know, we don't know enough, you know. Yeah. Not because she have a deal though, she have a, we're going to say she have a high sex drive, you know, well, because well, we don't know enough of like what's going on on his side. Probably she just wanted two or three times a week and she good. That is not a high sex drive, but if she have it only three times for a month, then, and it suggests that if she have a deal though, and thing, um, the, the deal though, it, it, it might be using very, very frequently. Um, um, but, 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 but yeah, but could we take it the place of the real thing? You see, but there you go again, you're thinking like a man. <laughs> but I can't think like a woman. <laughs> no, 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 I know, but uh, you but you point taken, but but for women it's not wow. No, you see what you say, you just say the dildo is replacing the man and 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 that is that is no, actually no, the no, issue no. you know that are that the trigger but but i would like no, you no, hold on but i would opinion, yeah. yeah that is your opinion but that yeah. is a way of thinking but i would also like you to consider the following that women are in relationship they use dildo and they use vibrators no vibrator well, I hold think on. Vibrator would have been a better alternative right but i'm just saying that women use dildo and they use vibrator Mm -hmm. And when they use it, it's not about replacing the man. It's more like 
a supplement. It's not, well, I, 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 it's not a version. replacement. I, I have a version. I have a version. I, I tell me, say, if you money in ladies, if you want to something for a lady, and she want to say, you know, I'm sure I'm going to give. I'm just putting put, put toil by one in belly, and I was doing things in front of her. Do, put him towel at? You know, put him towel at him belly and just do him in business in front of her. And, and masturbate in front of her? Uh, exactly. Because... Yeah, all right. All right. Hold on. You know what is interesting? I mean, I will carry yes. these conversations at this time. Of the day. But um, I am on record to tell men that, listen, don't be... Don't be insecure, you know, if you and your lady being intimate and, um, you know, so you go pop off and she never reach a point there and she said, well, we need to reach a point there and thing. And if she decides uh, she's going to help herself in front of you, I'm on record, you know, telling, I said, a lot of Jamaican men, I'm going to say, this is like sacrilegious, like, you know, you know, you know, you know, really accept that. But, you know, I'm not saying, no. If you can reach a point that with a woman, like that would be okay. You know, you and your woman go and she can masturbate in front of you and, and she can be okay and you and her good. If that can happen, that can happen. But now that you you you, you say this, this, you know, like a man would do that in front of a woman, and, and just yeah. now when you say it, I, I realized my first inclination was like, yo, I'm for do that, but <laughs> but is it that the same thing where the woman would have doing in front of the man? Like, but no, no, no. But that just sounds a little bit heavy for me to say to say a woman should be cool with if the man now nah, do nothing, if she no want do nothing, if, like if, if, she, just... if she if she if she no want if she no want if she no want certain thing if she not if if you really first that hold on hold on hold on is it certain things or just hold on is it certain things or just sex if she just not she don't want to have sex what what is that it. Yes, I would have the, the, the sex, yes. Right, so if she just don't want to have sex and then him just masturbate in front of her? Yes. Well, uh, I don't know because here we are going, you know. Here why me kind of instinctively. All right. Women are different from men in some ways, you know. All right. Um... And I'm generalizing now. Clearly, this doesn't apply to every woman or every man. Um, women in general, you know, view sex and intimacy. Of course, you have women who just horny and want to come and that's it. But women in general view sex and intimacy more mental than men do. Right? Yeah. In general. So... Mm -hmm. The problem, the concern that I have with that is sometimes when a woman don't want to be intimate, there, there are all sorts of psychological possibilities there where if a man just go masturbate and whatever, it may be the most insensitive and disrespectful thing he could have done, right? So somebody posts, all right, women have all kind of things that go on inside of them body where sometimes there's all kind of hormonal fluctuation women go through where we not go through, you know, you know that, right? Uh -huh. Right? And sometimes some of those things affect women in some ways where they're not, you know, disposed to have sex, right? Um, not to mention period, but even outside of period and menstrual thing, there are all sorts of surrounding stuff that goes on with women sometimes too where them may not feel if you have sex and them them won't necessarily tell you like you know like for example a lot of time women are talking about stuff they will say no my stomach can hurt me <laughs> and if you as a man don't know what that code mean from woman and sometimes some of them are general but sometimes some of them being sincere to say something are going right this so, or some would come in and go and look up further and say no i have cramps but them now come on and say, man, I'm a period. You know, women don't necessarily like for talk that way. Well, that talk, talk, you know, type of um coded type of thing, you know, it exists in 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 you know, women use that type of language in, in many other things, you know, to do with themselves. But if you so as a man, for it, well, 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 if you as a man, for example, um 
So if there's an attention issue there, you're not giving enough attention or say, yeah, or, yeah, or be absurd. You're not giving him enough attention. No, no, I'm, I'm saying that's a possibility, you know. I'm just yeah. saying, say some other issues are going on in the relationship where she think mm -hmm. needs to be addressed and thing. Yeah. Woman, in you know, in in you know, the, in, in dealing that. with that, we just say, oh, you know, me not feel for sex right now. Not and, lock shop. Right, and you know, the lock shop something that women don't necessarily agree with when them use that as leverage and whatever. But what I'm saying is, if there's some other issues going on there in the relationship that need to be addressed, right? And that is where we are saying, like, we don't really want to get intimate, no, and whatever, you know, because me not feel good about so and so and whatever, and we need for talk, and we need you for you know understand me some more or me need you for care about me some more or whatever or the thing that what it happened with my mother my father you know or something or the kids and then she has to she don't want an intimacy and thing and whatever because that's all the on your mind sex 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 that's all you just want sex all the time when so yeah. and so are going and so uh, yes indeed if a woman uh, yeah, I, I reach out to you that way then i say she don't want to have sex right now because you're just too sick for and then you just go masturbate right after she's gonna be like so, you know, what value am I to this man anyway? You know, you, know? you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense what I'm saying? Well, so, well, in his, in his mind, you know, he feel like the boy, you know, he must show sure the boy, you know. You, you see, the, the thing about it is that most of the times we mail, um, um put over amount of emphasis on the vagina. True. So in his mind, in my, in my show, I said, boy, look here. Make your head myself. Because generally, we all know that many of us have sex because we want to climb up. All right, hold on. No, I understand what you're saying, my show, you know. But you see that yeah. last line there where you just said? Mm hmm If you there with a woman, and when you have sex with her, all it is is applying that last line where you are saying, I guarantee you that woman won't enjoy having sex with you eventually. If you say the only thing you when you have sex is just for have an, it's just for come. And if a you, you, a woman in Connecticut, you, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A woman in Connecticut, you know how she put it. Mm. One time she said. No, he's just masturbating inside of me. Mm -hmm. And I go, we and she said, No, I don't want to sleep with him. Whenever I sleep with him, I just feel like him just jacking off inside of me. <laughs> and and basically what she's saying is this man don't, you know, I'm not enjoying the sex with him. He's not making love to me. He's just, he's mm -hmm. not intimate. Him just wanna come inside of me and me don't want to sleep with him again after you know what I mean? You understand what I said? So even that can turn off a woman, you know, if you just are going around and ram ram around, come and whatever, and think she after a while she don't want to have sex with you. So he, he, if I something like that, I go on with him, where you yeah. know, enough Jamaican man, you know, ram out that and come in at that and pop off in at that and ray, 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 ray. I was asleep at <laughs> Yeah, so that could have be a turn off. And if she has said, yo, I don't even want to sleep with you or whatever, I don't even care, do what you want to do. And then he must say, all right, I'm just masturbate or whatever. So she is like, well, that's no different. You masturbating over there, but even if you did inside of me, I just masturbate. Yeah, I masturbate anyway, too. So I better you do it over there by yourself than and spare me the indignity of having to deal with that. And oh, you understand you know. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, I, but, but that, yeah, you see what we just unraveled? I'm saying as an example that there could be different things happening there. You know, when a woman, if she's there with somebody and she has say, I'm going to have sex right, I know, or whatever, you know, you know it, there could be so many reasons there that some could be valid for him, say, boy, you know, say she a pre annex man or whatever, and this and that. And I say, you know, I tell you with you because you try to come use sex to control me and him just master ah, then fine. But exactly, the, what I'm yeah. saying, there could be some other really important, critical reason why she's not having sex. And if him just gonna masturbate in front of her, so I think it's gonna be like, okay, that just seals it up. Me and you don't have a connection, you know. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess in his mind, you know, he, he wouldn't, he, he never really care if, if she think that because you Point know, taken. Term, yeah, I, I guess that is the reason why she, you not gonna do it in the first place. 
Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there could be something where she are going with, you know, where she are used that as a, because you know a lot of women use that as control, right? Let me tell you something. Yes, exactly. One of the things um, where attractive women, I, I, I seen it all the time, so-called attractive women with them sex, when they meet a man who the sex don't have as much power when you know as other men a lot of them turn fool and know what they do you know holy mm. power man who you ever hear jamaican woman make that saying yeah so which jamaican man said no to to to, to sex right mm, yes and the understanding is like men are like that men just always want sex but the truth is, you have a lot of men who are not beholden to sex like that. But what those, you have a lot of those women, when they meet men who they cannot control with sex, then turn idiot. Yes, indeed. And nothing wrong with the man, but them think there's something wrong with the man. And then, them, you know, if the man just dismiss them with them sex and thing, them, them can't come with something else. Them can't bring anything else to the table. You know, and then them say something wrong with the man. So, like, even now I masturbate this, so that's a possibility to, to say something like that. I go on, like, a fool, they take man for a run, they want to come run me, and if I pop off right, I say, No, I'm good. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, we have a go Lego time ago, yeah, I think, you know. But wait, you, you didn't have anything else to say. We have about a minute to go. You have anything else to say? Well, I just I just want to um you know they 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 that they that they that brother who listen to, to, to the program every every night yeah he is in Christian he is from Samuel they call him Carlton he, 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 you know so me just want to say hi to him because when we call him not even recognize him he says he called him so oh so him, okay him to pick up your back Carlton Carlton from where Samuel. Farmil, Farmil, Farmil. Carlton from Farmil, near to Christian. Because I think you have a family in a in a man to go be there too. It is in um it, it is Samil, so. Where? Samil. Farmil. Samil. Samil, yeah. Oh, Samil, Samil. Okay, all right then. Big up yourself, Carlton from Samil. I say a word, all right? I right. bless Yo, up yourself, yeah. man. Big up yourself and say hello to wifey right. for me. All right. Yeah, man. All right, blessing. People like eat that and thing, juggle. Well, me love the show tonight. Me love the show tonight. Me like that feeling of the show, you know? We like relax and some big people reasoning and it's multi-layered. We can talk about religion, uh, Christianity, the impact on culture and psychological, psychocultural development and then down in a relationship and thing and, um, you know, using um, supplemental toys and thing and the... Uh, you know the impact of that and some of the issues that um come out you know them them type of something there and it, it was a very nice show tonight and um we learned a lot and we unpacked a lot and and there was just so much more we could have unpacked and thing but we could satisfy you know well it's a big respect to sajay down there in jamaica and thing large of yourself as again prezi he had to leave and and thing prezi so we have to hold it for the last hour of the show and thing take care of yourself people i know it's a friday we'll do this again well, blaze it up again, all right? Friday again. So take care of yourself. Love and manners. And do remember, well, I, well, I, well, I do remember Friday afternoon over from my YouTube channel, Ragashanti TV, we have the realest Jamaican talk show, right? Friday afternoon, 1 o'clock. Right? I wasn't there last week, but this week I'll be there. Friday, 1 o'clock, the realest Jamaican talk show. It named Free Up this Friday, 1 o'clock, over YouTube, where the channel name. Ragashanti TV. Ragashanti TV. This Friday, one o'clock. Take care of yourself, people. Out of the road.